Hello, good evening. You're welcome to um, tonight's prayer session for the Unreachable Group. My name is Josephine. Tonight we'll be praying for the Tiber 10 in India People Group. Uh, today, 2nd of September, you're welcome. And uh, the Unreachable Group, uh, a group of uh, uh, ethnic group, ethnic group of people who have never heard about the name of Jesus. Some have never heard about the name of Jesus. Some don't know who Jesus is or what he did for mankind, for you and I. Some don't have access to gospel materials uh, and uh, some don't have access to the gospel in their, uh, in their own languages and some don't have church presence so uh, they cannot even get um, these uh, materials or they cannot get evangelized without outside help. So joy is the way we join the Joshua Project and we begin to pray. We pray for this unreachable group. We reach the unreached through um, prayers. The uh, Joshua Project is a Christian organization that seeks to coordinate the uh, um, activities, the work of missionary organization to in order to get this uh, information to locate and uh, find out these uh, ethnic groups and see how they can send gospel materials to their missionaries and all of that so we and they provide us with they provide this information on their platform prayers for these separate uh, different ethnic groups so we enjoy so we join the Joshua project we take this information these prayers and we pray for this unreachable group and we are inviting you to join us as we pray in part of uh, in fulfilling the great commission the very primary uh, part is prayers so you must pray for this people group you pray for people you are going to reach and you pray for the people you are sending out to go and uh, preach the gospel to this people group these missionaries they go to very dark places and we need to help them with our prayer first of all before any other thing else so we are joining so we are inviting you to join us monday through saturday 9 pm nigerian time as we reach out as we reach the unreach through prayers god bless you as you join us to pray god bless you and we will welcome you and we, we ask that uh, you invite your friends and your families share the links with your friends your family your neighbors your colleagues to join us every monday through saturday as we lift up our voice to reach the unreachable groups through prayer and god bless you as you do so in the name of jesus christ today we'll be praying for the type Ty ten in india join me as we pray father in the name of jesus christ we thank you for another opportunity for the second day in the month of september to pray for this our rich people group holy spirit we surrender in totality to you and we yield totally to your will and we ask that you help us to pray tonight according to the will of the father for this people group we ask holy ghost that you give us all trust envelop us with your presence and give us all trust empower our inner man to pray empower our tongue to pray Help us to pray the mind of the Father for this poor group in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Spirit of the Living God. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying and we say, Holy Ghost, have your way in tonight's meeting. Speak through us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Like I said, tonight we are praying for the Tibetan in India, the original group of the day, September 12th, as provided by Joshua Project. I'll give us a little background information about this people group. They have a population of 117,000, 0.28% Christian, and their primary religion is Buddhism, and their primary language is Tibetan, and their status is that they are unreached. In 1979, thousands of Tibetans fled violence in their homeland and settled in India. Today, more than 100,000 remain exiled in India, many of whom live in Tibetan enclaves in Haramshala and the Black Coop. Most are farmers or nomadic shepherds. Ministry obstacles why the Tibetan people are not yet reached. Um, Tibetans engage in polygamy and polyandry, multiple husbands, and the vast majority are Buddhists. They also practice astrology. Uh, their cultural and religious beliefs combined with their remote rural existence 
in northern India make the Tibetan difficult to reach? So what are the outreach ideas, the best way these people group can be reached? They, they are vibrant believers in India who can reach this unreachable group for Christ. The Bible is available in the Tibetan heart language along with a variety of online and audio resources. This could provide a, a seed for a powerful move of God or um, if Tibetans would open their hearts to Jesus Christ. So our scripture focus for today's prayer is Matthew 4 and verse 4. The book of Matthew 4 and verse 4. But he answered, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Scriptures focus today, Matthew 4 and verse 4. But he answered, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. That is the scripture focus for today. So we are going to pray that today's people group, do, we're going to pray that they learn and understand that the Bible comes from the mouth and mind of the one true God. We are also going to pray for the few believers among the Tibetan of India to be equipped to share their faith with their families and friends. We are praying for God to establish his church among them and make them bold witnesses to Tibetan communities. We are praying for the Lord to give the Tibetans a hunger for his word and for them to seek it out online. We are also praying for their spiritual eyes to be opened and uh, for the light of the gospel to penetrate the darkness of Buddhism and traditional religion. Lift up your voice. Let's pray for one second, for one minute in the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we declare your glory over the today's people group the tibetan people group in the name of jesus christ and we thank you for this people group we thank you for your purpose and plan for them ancient of days we give you glory we declare your glory your manifest glory oh we declare your mightiness over this people group kapato zeka dagali prakotoa in banko to kapako take it in we thank you for your purpose and plan for them in the mighty name of jesus christ zeko to kapako to apako kapako to and we declare that the tibetan in india the whole of india is the lord and the fullness thereof leko zaka pa leko to kapa e bako zike te kapako to in banko to leke de kapazuka dala bragadia kapako to kaba in banko zike te ke pako do kabale ke te kaba e banko za za kabako to kata ke peko to kabale preko do kabakata e kapale ko to kabaka de ke te e banko zu kabaka bako to ko to ke peko ko kabale preko ze ke te e peko to kabale preko ze ke te am banko do kabale preko to kapa e kapale ko ze ke dali kapakata in the mighty name of jesus christ we are praying amen we are going to pray we say father we pray in the name of jesus christ that today's people group we pray that today's people group will learn and understand that the bible comes from the mouth and mind of the one through god in the name of jesus christ father we pray oh god for these people group to learn and understand that the bible comes from the mouth and the mind of the one true god in the name of jesus christ lord we pray that the eyes of the understanding of the tibetan people group will be open that they may learn and understand that the bible comes from the mouth and the mind of the only true god in the name of jesus christ E kapa le koto kabagada. E kapa le koto kabako zekete. Kabango do kabale koto koka pa. E kako do kabale koto kabako zia. Zekepe ko kabale kata li kabrako toa. Ambanko to zekete li kabrako toa. Our Father and our God, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray that today's people group will learn and understand that the Bible comes from the mouth and the mind of the one true God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Zoko to kabagazea, ekepe zoko to kabrakate, ketoka pa, ingampa koka ba, 
le koto ze ke pe koto ka bagada kam ban koto ka ba le ke te ke e ka pa le koto ka ba ke te ke te ka ba koto ka ba le pre koto e ban ko zi ke te ke te ke pa koto ka ba ka te ka bra koto ka ba koto ka ba le pre koto ko so e ga ba de koto ka pa in the mighty name of jesus christ we are praying amen and amen father we give you thanks in the name of jesus christ amen father we pray for the few believers among the Tibetans of india to be equipped to share their faith with their families and friends our father and our god in the name of jesus christ we pray for the few believers among the Tibetans of india to be equipped to share their faith with their families and friends in the name of jesus christ zeko toka braka zekete in banco to kabaleko to kabako zekete ka kabako do kabago do kabago do kabako do kabago do e kabrako to kapakazia e katole ko to kabrako to kazikete father we pray in the name of jesus christ uh, for the few believers among the tibetans of india to be equipped to share their faith with their families and their friends uh, with their neighbors oh god and their colleagues we uh, kapale ko to kapako zikete e kadale ko to kapako do kaba la bra 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 zoke de kepe ko to pale ko do embango zika bala bra ko to ke pako do kabako do kapako to e ke peli ke pre ko zoko to kaba kambanko to zeke te kapa our father and our god we pray in the name of jesus christ for the few believers among the tibetans of india to be equipped to share their faith with their families and friends in the name of jesus christ zoko to kabaga zeke te e kapako ta le kabako zia Zakapa koko to kabaka de Embanko to kale prako kapako to Kabako zike teke teke te E kapale kodo kabako zike te Kambanko to kabaka deke te E kapale kodo kabako zike te Kababambanko to kabale preko to E kepe ko kabale preko zike te Kambanko to kabaka bale preko to E kapale kodo kabako zike te Ke pa koto kabale preko zoko to E gadale koto kabrakata Our Father we pray in the name of Jesus Christ For the few believers among the Tibetans of India To be equipped to share their faith with their families and friends In the name of Jesus Christ Zoko to kabako to Kabako to kabale preko zike te Ke pe koto kabale preko do kata E kapale kodo kabako ziketea. Imbanko to kabako do kabraka deketea. Kepako zoko to kabrakata. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we are praying. Amen. Father, we give you thanks and glory. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Thank you, Father. We are praying. We are going to pray that, Father, O oh God, that you establish the church among them and make them bold witnesses to Tibetan communities. Father, we pray, O oh God, uh, that you establish your church among them, among the Tibetan people, and make them both witnesses to Tibetan communities. Kapazo koto kapako do kazikata. E gabale koto kapako zeketea. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. La kapako kapako to kata. That you establish your church among the Tibetan people and make them both witnesses to the Tibetan communities. In the name of Jesus Christ. Zoko to kabrakazia. Imbanko to kabale koto kapako to. Kabale pre ko zoko to koto kapakata. Kambanko da le kete kapako to. Zakapako kabale koto ko. E kapale koto kapako to. E kapazu zoko to kapade kete. Imbanko da le kadakata. Father, we pray, O God, uh, for that you establish your church among the Tibetan people in India and let them make them both witnesses uh, to Tibetan communities in the name of Jesus Christ. Make them both witnesses to their neighbors, to their families, to their colleagues uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Zeko to kapa le kata, abako zakade koto kapa, leku kapa koto koto kata kata, leko kapa ko zeketea. 
kaba godo kaba le preko zikete imbamban koto kapa koto kata kepe koda li kaba koto koto e kepe zuko to koto kaba imban kodo kaba le preko zikete kepa koto kaba le koto kaba li kada imban kote kete kete e pazuko to kaba gada gata kaba kade kete kete in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we are praying amen father we give you thanks and glory in the mighty name of jesus christ amen we are going to pray for the lord to give the tibetans a hunger for his word and for them to seek it out online oh father we pray oh god that you invade the heart of the tibetan people with a hunger for your love oh god ignite in the heart of the tibetan people a hunger for your word oh god and cause them to seek it out online in the name of jesus christ Kepeko zokata kata, oh kapale koka pakoto. Our Father, our God, we ask to God uh, that you give the Tibetans a hunger for your word, uh, ignite in the heart, oh God, uh, of the Tibetan people, oh God, a hunger for your word, uh, and for them to seek it out online, uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, oh kaze kate kabakoto, imbanko to kabale koto kapakata, kabaka daga daga dam, e kapale koze. Take it, take it, take it, yeah. Kambanko to koto kabaka zikete. Le koka pa kodo kabaka ta. E kapale kodo kabako zikete. Kambanko to kabale pre kotoa. E kadoka bale koto kotoa. Father, we pray, O God, like the Kapazo Kakata, that you give the Tibetan a hunger for your word and for them to seek it out online in the name of Jesus Christ. O God, ignite, O God, an unquenchable hunger for your word in the heart of the Tibetan people to the glory of your name alone in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, we give you thanks and glory in Jesus' mighty name. We are praying amen and amen we are going to pray right now we say father we pray for their spiritual eyes to be open and for the light of the gospel to penetrate the darkness of buddhism and traditional religion hey kazo kabako to kata leko kapako to are you praying this prayer fakataka leketeo our father and our god in the name of jesus christ we pray oh god for the spiritual eyes of the Tibetan people group in India, I will pray, O oh God, for the eyes, O oh God, for the spiritual eyes of the whole of the Indians to open, to be open, and for the light of the gospel to penetrate the darkness of Buddhism and traditional religion, thereby bringing them to Christ. Zazazazo zazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazaz
to be open for the light of the gospel to penetrate the darkness of Buddhism and traditional religion. Le koka pa koto kapa, le koka bazu koto kapakata, e kapa le koto kapakata, le koto kata, o kapa le koto kata. Let the light, let the light of the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ. Penetrate the darkness of Buddhism and traditional religion. Le kepe su koto kapa, a pa koto kapa koto kapa, e kepe koka pa kata. Le koka pa koto and chase away every darkness. Let the light of the gospel of salvation, the gospel of Jesus Christ, e kapa koto kapa koto kata. Penetrate the darkness of Buddhism and traditional religion and chase them away perpetually in the lives of the Tibetan people in India today. E kapale kozi kabakoto kada kambankoto kapakoto a e kapazeke te kabrakuka brakata la bankoto kapako kapa e katale koto kapakoto a e kapale koto kata. Let darkness give way to light. Let darkness give way to light. E kazuko to Prakata in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we are praying, Amen. Father, we give you thanks and glory, and we ask above every other thing, let your will for the people group be done in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your will, oh God, my father, for the Tibetan people group, the unreachable group of the day in India, let your will for them be made manifest to God. Let your will be done. Let your power fall mightily in Tibetan. Let in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we are praying. Father, we give you thanks. We give you all the glory. Blessed be your name forever. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying for our country, Nigeria. We are going to pray for the church in Nigeria to be the light and testimony of Christ's love within their community. Nigeria has the highest population of Muslims and we are going to be praying tonight for the church in Nigeria to be the light, to be the and testimony of Christ's love within their communities. Our Father and our God, we pray, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, let the church of Jesus Christ in Nigeria be the light and testimony of Christ's love within their communities in the name of Jesus Christ. Koza kata kata kata. E kapale koto kapa koto. E banko to kapa koto kata. Le ko kapa koze kete kata. E kapale koto kata. E banko to kapa koto. E Nigeria is our country. As we pray, lift in prayer, you pray for your country. We are praise, oh God, my Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the church in Nigeria be the light and testimony of Christ's love within their communities in the name of Jesus Christ. In every community where there is a church of Jesus Christ in Nigeria, Father, we pray, oh God, let it be the light and testimony of Christ's love. Let the church manifest the light and testimonies of Christ's love in the name of Jesus Christ within their communities. In any part of the country, we pray, O God, our Father, that the church of Jesus Christ in Nigeria to be the light and testimony of Christ's love within their communities. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Ganda Ganda Lekoto, Kepa Koto, Kapa Koto Kata, E Kapa Lekoto Kazekete, Kaba Kodo, Kaba Godo Koto, E Kapa Lekodo Koto Kapa, E Kapa Lekoto Kaba Koso Koto, E Kapa Koda Le Kaba Koto, Zakaba Kadekete, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we are praying. Amen. Father, we give you thanks and glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, we pray for those leading the violent militant groups uh, in Nigeria, in every part of the world, uh, that they will have a Damascus Road experience with change and repentant heart. In the name of Jesus Christ. Kapazuaka de Katekata, Lapa Koto Kata, 
Oh, Father, we pray, oh God, uh, for those leading the violent militant group, violence, oh God, uh, that they would have a Damascus Road experience with change and repentant heart in the name of Jesus Christ. E kapa le koto kapa, e kapa ko kapa. We pray for oh God those leading the banditry, the kidnapping, oh God. La kapa ko in Nigeria, la kapa ko kapa koto, e kapa le koto kapa koto, zakapa le koto kata. That they would have a Damascus Road experience with change and repentant heart in the name of Jesus Christ. In the same vein, Lord, we pray for more harvest workers to go into Nigeria. Le ko kapa ko zikete. E kapa zoko to kada. Ka bam bam ko to ka pa ko to. E ke pe zu ko to ka pa ko to. E ka da le ko to ko to ka pa. E ka pa le ko to ka ba ka ta. E ke pe zu ko to ka pa ko to. E ka da ga da ga da ga da. Ka ba ko ze ke te ke te. E ka do li ka pa ko to. E ka pa ko ka pa ko to ka ta. E ka pa le ko to ko to. E ke pe ku ka pa ko to ko to. E ba ko to ka pa ko to. E kapa le ko kapa to ko to. E kapa le ko to kapa ko to. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we are praying. Amen. Father, we give you thanks in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, we are praying for pastors and missionaries and the laborers in the harvest yield. Our Father and our God, we pray, O God, uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, and we come against every spirit of discouragement, uh, disappointment, fear, and doubt. Uh, a sign against uh, the pastors, the ministers, the laborers on the harvest yield, the missionaries, oh God, in order to keep them away from the faith. In the name of Jesus Christ, Kepe Koto Kapa Kotoa, E Kapale Kotoa, every spirit of discouragement, every spirit of disappointment, every spirit of fear and doubt, E Kapa Kokapa, Le Kokapa, a sign in order to discourage missionaries, uh, laborers past also and keep them away from the faith we cast you out in the name of jesus christ we come against you by the blood of jesus christ every spirit of discouragement disappointment fear and doubt plaguing missionaries on the harvest field plaguing genuine pastors and ministers and laborers on the harvest field we come against you by the blood of jesus christ we come against you by the blood of Jesus Christ, your spirit of discouragement, your spirit of disappointment, your spirit of fear and doubt, a kapakota leko tokata as on assignment to hinder, to discourage, oh kapako tokata leko kapakoto to discourage missionaries on the harvest youth, to discourage laborers on the harvest youth, to discourage pastors from doing their job, leko kapakoto by the blood of Jesus Christ. We overcome you right now. We overcome you by the blood of Jesus Christ. We overcome you by the blood of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we are praying. Amen. Father, we give you thanks and praise in the name of Jesus Christ. Philippians 4.19, it says, My God will supply all my needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Father, we pray, O God, uh, that provision, O oh, oh God, oh, we pray for your provision over the family and ministry of every missionary, every pastor, and every laborer on the harvest field, Leko Kapa, wherever they are, oh God. Father, we pray for your provision over their families, oh Kapa Kotaka, over their ministries, Leko to Kapa Kokapa. Oh Father, we pray that you provide to them according to your riches in glory by Christ Jesus, Ekepe Kokapa, oh Kapa Leko Tokata, oh God, we pray, oh God that you provide for every missionary, every pastor, every laborer on the harvest field, oh God, as many as they are, oh God, that on the go for Christ. Oh, Father, we pray, oh God, for your provision over their family, over their ministry, oh God. Provide every of their need, oh God, my Father, according to your riches in glory by Christ Jesus. E kapa ko kapa ko to kata. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we are praying. Amen. Father, we give you thanks and glory. In Jesus' mighty name, 
we are praying amen father we pray in the name of jesus christ for the joy of the lord the bible says, the joy of the lord is my strength the joy of the lord is my strength father we pray for the joy of the lord to sustain the missionaries in every trial and in every setback in the name of jesus christ father we pray oh god for the joy of the lord to sustain the missionaries in every trial in every setback father we pray oh god for the joy of the lord to sustain every pastor every minister of the gospel every laborer and harvest yield in every trial and in every setback to the glory of your name alone in the name of jesus christ Kabako to kaze kete kabako doa. In banko to kabraka te kete. E kapale koto kapa. Our Father and our God, we pray, O God, for the joy of the Lord to sustain every missionary, every pastor, every laborer, every minister on the harvest yield in every trial and setback in the name of Jesus Christ. Kepe zoko to kapako to kabagada. Kabako zoka dekete e kapale koto kapa e kapale koto kapakoto e kapale kozekete in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, we give you thanks in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Begin to pray for yourself. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, kapakoto kaprakate kata, shine your light, shine your glorious light inside my heart. In the name of Jesus Christ, e kepe zoko to kapakoto kata, e kapako kapakoto kata, e kapale koto. Oh, God, my Father, give me a compassionate heart for the lost. Give me a compassionate heart for the lost and break my heart with whatever break your heart in the name of Jesus Christ Kapako Zekete Oh Kapaka Tekete Kata Oh my Father and my God give me a compassionate heart for the lost and break my heart with whatsoever that break your heart in the name of Jesus Christ Leko Kapazuko to Kapakata Oh Gadale Keto Kokapa Oh God my Father give me a compassionate heart for souls and break my heart with whatsoever break your heart in the mighty name of Jesus Christ kota kapa kokapa in the mighty name of jesus christ we have prayed above all lord we ask oh god my father let your will be done in the nations of the earth let your will be done oh god among the unreachable group let your will be done let your perfect will be made manifest in their lives oh god in jesus mighty name we have prayed amen and amen father we give you thanks and glory for answered prayers in jesus mighty name Amen. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. And we thank you for joining us tonight for this prayer. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we continue to pray for the original group. God bless you immensely and favor you and give you rest roundabout in the whole of this month of September as you continue to pray for the original group in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. Have a most restful night and God bless you. Thank you, King of Glory. Blessed be God forever and let the will of God be made manifest in your life in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. Kindly invite your friends and family to join us as we pray same time, 9 p.m. Nigerian time tomorrow. And have a wonderful night rest in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Shalom.